we are in the AI Content Fly dashboard. And for this demonstration, I've chosen to use a niche that I know nothing about to prove that you really can let AI Content Fly do the work to generate amazing content, even if you don't know anything about the topic. So the niche that I've chosen is aquascaping. That's basically the art and science of creating an underwater landscape. Uh, it happens to be a popular hobby these days, and those involved in it can spend a lot of money on it. So I chose something that is slightly obscure, but it also does have business potential. And just for the record, I do love fish, and I love aquariums, which would be a related niche, but I don't even own an aquarium, and I couldn't teach you anything about aquascaping, so I'm truly going to let uh, AI Content Fly do all the work on this. Uh, let's go ahead and start by clicking on Documents and then Workbooks. Now, this is optional, but I'm just going to show you how you can set this up to help keep things organized in AI Content Fly. I'm going to create a new workbook and we'll call it Aquascaping. And now we're going to click on the Templates tab and begin the demo, starting up here with Blog Titles. And so if we want to save our work, what we can do is actually select this workbook name here, Aquascaping, and then I could give it a name, such as Aquascaping Blog Titles. And then just give it a sentence or a few words about what your blog post is about. From the Creativity drop-down, you can select Low, Average, or High. Throughout these demonstrations, I'll just keep it on Average. Changing that variable would just give you slightly different results, and that's just another way to get unique content from this AI engine. You can also choose how many results you want, and you'll find that that's the case throughout most of our templates, as well as if you want to limit the maximum length of the result. I've found that in general I can just keep the limit pretty high, and the result will be an appropriate length. And then just click the button. And it's going to give us 10 great potential blog titles, such as Get Started Aquascaping, Exploring the Basics, Aquascaping 101, All You Need to Know, Dive into Aquascaping, Uncover the Details, Aquascaping Basics, A Comprehensive Guide, so that subtitle might be something like the benefits of installing an aquascaping filter. We can then save these results as a Word document, a PDF, a text file, or we can simply copy the text or save it to our built-in storage here in AI Content Fly. Let's go ahead and save this document to our storage. You can see, successfully saved. Let's go back and take a look at the next template. I'm going to skip over the second one and jump over to Blog Ideas, and in a moment you'll see why. I'll just say, what is aquascaping? Again, you can choose the creativity level, and then you can choose a tone of voice, ranging from funny, casual, excited, professional, witty, sarcastic, feminine, masculine, bold, dramatic, grumpy, or secretive. We'll keep it casual for now. And generate the text. And you can see what it does is gives us five great blog post ideas, plus the subheadings that would be a part of those blog to posts. So you've got Aquascaping 101, an introduction to the art of aquascaping, and then within that post you'd have topics like what is aquascaping, what are the benefits of aquascaping, what materials are needed to aquascape, what types of plants and fish should be used in aquascaping, what are the different styles of aquascaping. So now we'll create a blog section, and I'm going to paste that content that I just copied from that last one. So the title is going to be Aquascaping 101, an introduction to the art of aquascaping, and then the subheadings were also copied directly from that previous template result. Again, we'll just leave it at average casual voice for now and generate the text. And as you can see, it turned it into a perfectly written blog post, which we could then copy and paste, say, into WordPress, or we could save it as a Word document. We could turn this into a, an instant lead magnet for that matter. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and save this Word document too, just in case I decide to do that later. Next, we have blog intros. And I'm going to use these same results that we used in the previous template just by copying and pasting again what AI Content Fly already gave us. We'll just leave it at average and casual. I'll just kind of leave the default settings for most of these demos just so you can see sort of an average demo. And it created a great blog post or even an article intro for us that helps draw in the reader. Like, have you ever heard of aquascaping? If not, you're in for a treat. Aquascaping is an art form that combines the beauty of nature with the creativity of the aquarist. So this is a really great intro. Next, we'll look at creating a conclusion. And instead of reinventing the wheel, again, I'm going to paste in the exact same content that we've been using. And this time, instead of giving us an intro, it gives us a great summary conclusion for any blog post or article. The next template is the welcome email. So let's say my company's name is Eric's Aquascaping. 
say we help aquascaping enthusiasts build the best underwater environments in their aquariums. We sell aquascaping supplies and provide design services. And our audience is people who enjoy creating aquascapes in their aquariums. And again, I know nothing about aquascaping, so I just came up with this off the top of my head, typed it in, I'm going to let the AI do the hard work. So let's click the button. And here's our email. Dear aquascaping enthusiast, welcome to Eric's Aquascaping. We are thrilled that you have chosen to join us in our mission to create the best underwater environments for your aquariums. Let's go back and try the cold email template. I'm going to give it exactly the same information that we gave it in the previous one. I'll even leave the tone of voice the same at casual, and I'm expecting the AI to give me something different than it gave me just a moment ago. And it does. The subject is create the aquascape of your dreams. Hello, are you an aquascaping enthusiast looking to create the underwater environment of your dreams? If so, you've come to the right place. Let's go back now and try the next email template, which is for a follow-up email. Again, we'll use the same company name, the same description, the same audience. The only extra bit of detail we add here is we're following up after the prospect downloaded our free ebook about aquascaping. We'll keep everything average and generate the text. Hi, first name. Welcome to Eric's Aquascaping. We're glad you downloaded our ebook on aquascaping, and we hope you found it helpful. I don't know, guys. I'm actually getting tempted to start an aquascaping business, even though I don't know anything about it. Let's go to the next uh, template, which is Amazon product description. I'm going to pretend that I'm selling some gray slate rocks for aquascaping. I mean, the only ingredients I really know about for aquascaping are plants and rocks, so let's just say rocks. And I'll throw in some very basic keywords again, not knowing much about the niche. I'm just going to say aquascape, aquarium rocks, natural, beautiful, and safe. And generate the text. All right, here we go. Transform your aquarium with these beautiful, natural, gray slate rocks. Perfect for aquascaping. These rocks will add a unique and stunning look to your tank. And it continues on with a very well-written description. Moving on to the next template, we have Facebook ads. I'm going to use the same product name, so we'll say we're selling those gray rocks on Facebook or advertising them on Facebook. The audience is the same that we've been using. And for the description, I'm literally going to paste that description that was just created for us by AI Content Fly. So I'm not having to write anything new here. I am simply pasting what it's already created. We'll go ahead and generate that text. And you can see what it did was essentially took that description and turn it into an ad format and made it short enough to be a Facebook ad. Let's move on to the next template, which is Instagram captions. And again, not really knowing anything about this topic, I'm just going to say the post should be about how to get started with aquascaping for beginners who are interested in learning how to create an aquascape in an aquarium. Let's generate it. And as you can see, it gave us five catchy Instagram captions, such as ready to make your aquarium a work of art? Let's get started with aquascaping. Moving on, to go along with our caption, let's create some hashtags. And for this one, all you have to do is enter a keyword. I'm just going to enter the word aquascape, and that's it, just to see what the AI comes up with. And actually, it came up with a whole lot of hashtags. Now, of course, you don't have to use all of these, but aquascaping, aquascaper, aquascapes, aquarium, aquascape art, planted tank, nature aquarium, aquarium hobby. Now, see, again, I don't know much about this, so I would never have known that planted tank was a popular hashtag for this niche. So, obviously, this will be a very helpful tool. Next, let's look at creating a personal social media post. I'm going to keep it very simple and say, hey, let's make a post about my new aquascape that I created in my aquarium. Generate it. Now, for a business social media post, perhaps we want to take a slightly different approach. For this one, we're going to put in our company name, which is Eric's Aquascaping, company description, and for the post, I'm going to use the same topic that I used earlier, which is just how to get started with aquascaping for beginners. And we'll generate it. That is a perfect business post for this niche that, again, I really know nothing about, but could easily jump into by using AI content fly. Next, let's look at Facebook headlines. I'm going to use the same product name that we used before, which is the Gray Slate Rocks. The audience is people who are interested in aquascaping. And I'm going to use the description that was given to us earlier by AI Content Fly. And my description was just a little bit longer than what they want us to paste in here. They're only taking 400 uh, characters or words, whatever it is. Uh, so if, that, if that's the case, just paste in what you can, because that means it'll be enough for the AI. So go ahead and generate it. 
And the headline is, so it really boiled all this down, to transform your aquarium into a work of art with gray slate rocks for aquascaping. Yeah, that's a great headline for advertising this product. Next, let's look at Google Ads headlines. Again, we'll use the same product name, the same audience, and the same description as before, and generate it. In this case, it gave us 10 potential ad headlines. We can then pair those headlines with this next template, which will generate a Google Ads description for us. So I'm going to paste in that product description first since I already had it copied. Then we have the product name, the audience, and we'll go ahead and generate it. Instant Google Ads. Next, let's take a look at the article generator. If you need help coming up with an article title, you could use the blog post title generator, which I demoed earlier. So I'm actually going to grab one of the titles that we came up with during that demo. I'll just paste it in there, and I'll go ahead and paste in a few keywords and generate the article. And next, we're going to take a look at the content rewriter. You can literally rewrite any kind of content. For this demonstration, I'm going to jump over to the Wikipedia page on aquascaping, and I'm actually just going to snag or scrape some content directly from this page. You know, Wikipedia is kind of sort of fair game for scraping, right? And especially if you're going to rewrite it. So I'm just going to copy it and paste it right in there. Now, on this one, I think I'm actually going to change the tone of voice. You know, I have been using the casual tone of voice throughout these demos. But what if we were to change it to something different, maybe something like funny, and see if it can actually take this very serious sounding Wikipedia article and give it a little bit of humor at least. Let's find out. It's sure to be a blast. And so definitely it very much changed the tone of writing. It took something that was written in a pretty straight up scientific way and turned it into something that in fact is funny. Next, let's take a look at the paragraph generator. I'm going to keep this very simple. How to choose a filter for your aquascape. Throw in just a few keywords and let it go to work. Working with this now. Next, we'll take a look at the talking points generator. I'm actually going to grab another one of the blog titles that we generated earlier in the demo and simply grab those subheadings from that as well. So again, not having to come up with anything unique or creative on my own, literally just take, actually recycling content that AI Content Fly created for me earlier in this demo. Let's go ahead and generate it. And here we have these talking points perfectly organized and, and we've got the subheadings along with the answers and information about each of them. Going back, the next template option is pros and cons. This one is great for creating, could be something for your own product, but also would be great for product reviews if you're an affiliate or promoting something uh, for someone else. Or just trying to get traffic to your website by uh, creating content for people who are you know, doing research and comparison shopping. So you know, for this one, I'm going to jump over to Amazon, and I found a product related to aquascaping and this product has kind of a long name I don't know I could use the full name or I could just use part of it I might just use that first part of the name and paste it in as the product name and then for the description I'm actually going to grab the description right off of Amazon as well so I'm just going to copy that paste it in there and let the AI do the rest and this is really interesting I did not even read what this product, you know, exactly what it was or what the pros and cons might be. But the AI did a great job of analyzing it and came up with some pros and a few cons. It's expensive for a starter kit. It may take some time to get used to the tools and maybe not suitable for larger aquariums. And so uh, really did a great job for us. Next, let's see how well it can summarize some text. And so for this one, I'm going to jump back over to that Wikipedia article that we used um, moments ago and I'm going to grab some of that text maybe even a little more of it this time and paste that in and then let the AI figure out what it's all about and here we go even though I grabbed and pasted in a huge chunk of text from Wikipedia it summarized it down into a very nice summary 
Aquascaping is an aquatic gardening hobby where aquatic plants, rock stones, cave work, or driftwood are arranged in an aesthetically pleasing way in an aquarium. And gives you a little more information, but a great summary of that page. And, you know, we could then use this. You can use this for any number of things. You could use it for your own research purposes, or you could use it as content. Going back, I'm going to momentarily jump over a couple of these next templates and go to the product name generator because we're then going to use that name for some of the other templates. And so for my seed words, I'm really going to keep it very simple. Aquascaping, how to, an aquarium. And then for my description, I'm also going to keep it extremely simple because the, the whole point here is to save time and let the AI do the work. I'm just going to say it's a video course containing 10 step-by-step -step videos teaching how to set up your own aquascape at home, and I'm going to generate some product names and see what it comes up with. Aquascaping Academy, Home Aquascaping 101, the Aquascaping Aquarium Blueprint, Aquascaping Made Easy, Aquascaping Mastery. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and copy these because I'm going to use at least one of those in our next template. So going back, we are now going to create a product description. So I'm going to choose the one Aquascaping Made Easy. I'm going to use the same audience that I've been using this whole time. And then again for the description, I'm going to keep it very, very simple because, again, what we're doing here is actually allowing the AI to create a product description for us. So we want to let it do the hard work. So we're going to put in just a very basic description and then generate it. And you can see from this very tiny amount of information that we gave, it came up with a, an amazing, very well written and effective description. I'm going to go ahead and copy that to use for later as well. Moving on to the next one, we also have a startup name generator. So I could throw a few keywords into there and a very short description of what this business is going to do and let the AI come up with some creative names. And it came up with great names such as Aquascape Dreams, Aquarium Wonders, Aquatic Designers, Aquatic Artisans, Aquascape Architects. I really like that. I wonder if that uh, I wonder if that domain is available. It probably is. It's a good one. Aquascape Emporium and more. And going back, let's take a look at what is sure to be a controversial feature, which is the ability to instantly generate an academic essay. Now, I do want to point out here that uh, really for us in business, you know, we're probably not going to be creating essays to hand in at school, but this is actually great for creating lead magnets, viral, viral reports, or, you know, what they call white papers in more technical niches. You know, instead of just uh, maybe a casual article, this could be used to create something a little more sophisticated. So for this essay title, maybe we'll go something like the scientific factors that all aquascape creators should understand. And again, this is coming from someone who doesn't really know anything about the topic, but I'm still going to allow the AI to create some great content for me. And so for my keywords, I'll put in something like aquascaping, um, aquascape science, environment, ecosystem, plants, biology, right? Because those are some sciencey words. I think it's going to help the AI know that I want something a little more sophisticated written here. And then for my tone of voice, instead of just going with casual, maybe I will go with professional and see what it comes up with. Let's go ahead and generate this text. And sure enough, it came up with content that could be handed in uh, as a high school paper. <laughs> All right, it's a practice that's been around for centuries. The earliest known examples of aquascaping appearing in the 16th century. Though aquascaping is an art form, it's also a science. To create a successful aquascape, it's essential to understand the scientific factors that underpin the process. And then what it does is it goes in uh, and explains the scientific factors. So the first paragraph starts with the first scientific factor that aquascape creators should understand is the environment of the aquarium. And it goes on to explain that. The, second, the next paragraph says the second scientific factor that aquascape creators should understand is the biology of the inhabitants. It goes on to explain that. The next paragraph, the third scientific factor, uh, they should understand the interplay between the environment and the inhabitants, right? That sounds, this sounds like an essay, doesn't it? The interplay between the environment and the inhabitants. Um, but again, uh, in addition to just being an essay generator, you could use this to create um, viral reports or, you know, what we might call a white paper, right? We could turn this into a white paper that could then be distributed uh, essentially as a lead magnet or a lead generator for this business. Now let's go back and we're going to take a look at how this AI can create a completely different type of content, sort of the opposite of an essay, which would be a creative story. 
So I came up with a little idea, and I'm just going to paste it in. And I, I kept my idea very simple. I wanted it to be on the same theme of aquascaping, uh, so that I could use it perhaps as uh, you know maybe like an extra product or even a lead magnet for this business. Uh, but my thought is to turn this story into a little children's book. So it's about a crab that lives in an aquascape and then he escapes. All right, so let's just see uh, in what tone of voice. Let's see, I could either go funny or casual. Let's go witty and see if it comes up with something a little bit more on the witty side. And let's generate this text and see what it comes up with. Here we go. Fred was a boy with an affinity for aquascaping. His room was filled with tanks of all shapes and sizes, and his favorite was the one with the crab named Larry. Larry was a peculiar crustacean, and Fred soon noticed that he had a knack for tapping his claws in a very rhythmic fashion. One day, Fred was out of the house, and Larry took the opportunity to escape from the aquarium. He scuttled around the city looking for adventure in a way back home. Unfortunately, Larry almost got eaten in a seafood restaurant before his dance moves were discovered, and he became an overnight sensation. Fred saw Larry on the news and knew he had to find him. After a few days of searching, Fred finally located Larry, who was being interviewed on the red carpet. Fred and Larry were reunited, and Fred took Larry back to his aquarium. From then on, Larry was a celebrity, and Fred was the envy of all his friends. All right, great little story. I'm going to copy that. I'm also going to save the Word document for later because I might actually turn that into a little children's book as a part of this demo. And then next, we'll take a look at the grammar checker. And I'm going to go ahead and just paste that exact story so we can check its grammar and see what the AI comes up with. And so just skimming through the results, you know, it did make a couple of very small tweaks, but for the most part, the results that it gave me in the previous uh, demo were grammatically correct. But you could obviously use that for checking anything. Now here's a neat feature which is summarize for a second grader. I'm going to jump back to the Wikipedia article that we were using as a demo before. I'm going to copy that text again. I'm going to paste that in because again the Wikipedia article is very technical and sciencey and a little difficult to understand. It uses a lot of big words so let's see what the AI does with that. And it boiled down that massive amount of technical text into a very short paragraph that even a second grader can understand. Aquascaping is a hobby where people arrange underwater plants, rocks, and other decorations in an aquarium to make it look nice. Right? So obviously, that's a very second grader kind of a phrase. That's not something that it found in the original Wikipedia text. It really uh, dumbed this down into a level that can be understood by anyone. Next we have several video related template tools. We'll start with video descriptions. And we'll just say the title of the video is how to create your first aquascape. Keep it extremely simple and let the AI do the rest. Are you ready to take your aquarium to the next level? In this video we'll show you how to create an amazing aquascape that will transform your tank into a stunning underwater oasis. Learn how to select the right plants, etc., etc. I'm going to go ahead and copy that because we're going to use it again in a moment. I'm going to go back to the next tool, which is video titles. And to come up with some catchy titles, all I'm going to do is paste that description that AI Content Fly just came up with. So I'm not even writing anything here. I'm letting AI Content Fly create everything. And here's my title. Aquascaping 101, create an amazing underwater oasis in your aquarium. Now, if you didn't like that one, you could go ahead and generate another one. Unlock the secrets to creating a stunning aquascape, a step-by-step -step guide. I think I like that title a little better, so I'm going to go ahead and copy that one to use in our next template, which is the YouTube Tags Generator. I'm simply going to paste that title that we came up with from the last one, and generate some tags. And in fact, not only did it come up with hashtags, it also came up with keywords that we can use. And just perusing this list of hashtags, these would actually be great tags to use on any social media, uh, not just YouTube. Going back, we'll take a look at the next template, which is a very important and helpful one, which is creating video scripts. Now again, to save time and prove that you really don't have to do much work here, I'm going to paste in that exact same description that AI content fly came up for me moments ago. And I'm just going to base the entire script on that simple description that it came up with for me. 
And here we go. Hey there, aquarium enthusiasts. Are you ready to take your tank to the next level? In this video, we're going to show you how to create an amazing aquascape that'll make your tank look like a work of art. Great script. Going back, the next template is to create meta descriptions. Let's say my website name is Eric's Aquascaping. For my description, I'm actually just going to use the same description I came up with earlier for my business. And I'm going to give it the bare minimum for keywords, just some very basic ones. And then let the AI go to work. Here's my meta description. Eric's Aquascaping provides the best aquascaping supplies and design services to help aquarium enthusiasts create beautiful underwater environments. Our aquascaping products and services are perfect for creating a perfect aquascape for your home or office. And if we didn't like that, we could simply click generate text and do it again. Going back, we have a template to help us create FAQs, frequently asked questions. So I'm going to grab that product name that AI Content Fly came up with for me earlier, Aquascaping Made Easy. And then I'm also going to grab that same product description that AI Content Fly came up with for me. So again, I'm really not doing any work. I'm just using the content that it created for me. And so some FAQs would be, you know, what is Aquascaping Made Easy? How will this video course help me? What kind of plants and rocks should I select? How do I arrange them? How do I maintain the aquascape? So I just gave them the product name and description that it came up with for me. It's actually giving me a full list of great FAQs. Next, let's look at the testimonial and review tool. I'm going to give it that exact same product name again and the exact same description that AI Content Fly already wrote for me and then let it go to work. And we've got five testimonials here, like Aquascaping Made Easy is an awesome video course. I just finished watching the videos, and I'm so glad I decided to buy it. It was really easy to follow, and I was able to set up a beautiful aquascape in no time. I highly recommend. So we've got five there that we can use. Going back, we have the Problem, Agitate, and Solution tool. This is a great copywriting formula. I'm going to use that exact same product name. Again, the same description that AI Content Fly wrote for me and the same audience that I've been using throughout. And then let it go to work. So the problem would be, are you looking to create a beautiful aquascape in your own aquarium but don't know where to start? Do you feel overwhelmed by the thought of selecting the right plants and rocks, arranging them, and maintaining the aquascape? Yeah, absolutely. That's a great problem to start with. And then you're going to agitate it. You don't have to feel lost and overwhelmed when it comes to aquascaping. You can learn how to create beautiful aquascapes in your own aquarium with ease. And then you've got a solution. Aquascaping Made Easy, that's the name of my product, is the perfect video course for you. This course contains 10 step-by-step -step videos that will teach you how to set up an aquascape in the comfort of your own home. You will learn how to select the right plants and rocks, how to arrange them, and how to maintain the aquascape. You'll also learn how to create a beautiful aquascape that will bring life to your aquarium. See what it did there? You can take this formula to create a sales pitch for absolutely anything using AI Content Fly. The remaining tools below that are available in the pro version of AI Content Fly, but before we take a look at those, let's take a look at the AI image generator that is also built into AI Content Fly. And it's as simple as giving it a name and just telling it what you want it to create. And so I'm going to go ahead and just call it Aquascape. And I want to come up with some images that I could use to go along with some of the content that we've just created. So I'm going to generate some images related to aquascaping. And you can select the size and the number of images that you want it to generate for each description. So here's the first one that it just created for me. That's a really nice aquascape picture. Go ahead and down that, down, download that. Maybe I'll use it later. I have found that it, you can get some really good results if you use some artistic terms like watercolor style painting. So I'm going to go ahead and generate one of those. And here's the one it came up with for me now. That's a really pretty picture. I really like those colors and sort of the abstract fish in the background. Let me go ahead and download that one as well. And the other thing that I should mention is that for all of these templates that we just demonstrated, we could go back and repeat that process in any number of various languages because AI Content Fly has most of the major languages built right into it. For example, if we went over here to the article generator, you know, we just did everything in English for these demonstrations, but you could go back and create all of those different types of content in all these different languages. 
dozens of languages, so you can have truly international business. You can grow a bigger audience and reach people all around the world in all different languages and ultimately make more money. That's the power of AI Content Fly. Now let's take a look at the features that come in the pro version of AI Content Fly. Now, of course, the most important feature is the fact that you'll be able to create unlimited content. So you're not limited by the number of words that you can use each month. Um, that is by far and away the most important feature. But we also are adding some additional tools, starting with email subject lines. So for the product name, I'm going to use the product name that AI Content Fly came up with for me earlier, Aquascaping Made Easy. And for the description, again, I'm going to paste in the description. Actually, for the features and keywords, uh, I'm just going to save time and paste in the description that AI Content Fly came up with for me. And we'll go ahead and generate some subject lines. And here we go. Ready to create a stunning aquascape? Aquascaping made easy. Achieve aquascaping bliss with aquascaping made easy. Transform your aquarium. Aquascaping in 10 simple steps. Uh, easier than you think. Get ready to aquascape. Create a healthy aquascape. Uh, aquascaping the easy way. All right, so great email subject lines there. Let's move on to an event promotion email. And let's say I'm holding an aquascaping for beginners class. And this class is going to be held at Eric's Aquascaping Store in Denver on May 31st. Let's go ahead and generate an email for that. So the subject, Aquascaping for Beginners class, May 31st at Eric's Aquascaping store. All right, that's very fitting. Dear Aquascaping enthusiasts, we invite you to join us for an Aquascaping for Beginners class at Eric's Aquascaping store in Denver on May 31st at 9 a.m. This class is limited to 12 participants, so please register soon. Query mode. Perfect. IOS. Let's take a look at that. Uh, again, we're going to use a company name of Eric's Aquascaping, and I'm going to use a very, very basic company description. And again, you can choose the tone of voice, right? So maybe I want to go a little more professional, professional on this. I don't know. Let's generate it. And yeah, that looks like a pretty good description, a pretty good bio that I would just put right onto my website. Next, let's take a look at the app and SMS notifications. Again, for Eric's Aquascaping. And let's say that this is a reminder for users to, uh, again, I don't know much, six options that we can choose from to use for those notifications. 